Hello, this is Julie Musial from Musial Marketing. Today I want to help you with some time management skills with email. Uh, people today get inundated with email and I know email is important, but how can you sort out the ones that are important from the ones that are not important? You know, as I go through my day, I have emails that I need to look at now and I have emails that are important, but I want to look at them later. But I don't want to go through them and always have to flag them. So how can you take an email and put it directly in a folder without seeing it? Just making sure that you go back to it. What I use is Microsoft Outlook. And if you use anything besides Microsoft Outlook, I'm going to show you how to do this on Microsoft Outlook. But to do the exact same thing, the steps are going to be pretty close the same. But what I want you to do, let's say, for example, if you use Gmail, what I want you to put in Google is how to send emails to a folder in Gmail because what I would Google if I wanted to find out how to do this in Microsoft Outlook is how to send emails to a folder in Microsoft Outlook. But I'm going to teach you how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my email and I am in, as I said, Microsoft Outlook. And how you do this is up on the top, you go to Tools and in Tools you're going to go to Rules and Alerts and once you get to Rules and Alerts you're going to click on New Rule. Now, the reason you might want to do this, let's say, for example, you might be in a lot of different Facebook groups like I am. Some of my greatest connections are in Facebook groups. So I may want to look at those emails that come in from the Facebook group, but I don't want to look at them now. So I might want, I'm in a Facebook group called Sassy Mastermind. So I want to take those Sassy Mastermind emails, as you can see right here. This is my, I've gone to my, these are all of my folders. I can't use it right now because I've clicked on some of these. Well, let me click out of this. When you look at my different inbox, this is my inbox here. And when you want to click, when you want to create a new folder, you just click on File, New, oops, File, New, and then you use the arrow and then Folder. And you just follow the instructions. So let's say, for example, I have created all of these different folders. And what I want to do is I want to send some of these sassy emails to this folder before I ever even see them. And right now I can see that there's 10 there that I have not seen, even though I haven't um, looked at them in my inbox. So what you want to do again, you want to go to Tools, you want to go to Rules and Alerts, and then you want to click on New Rule. And when you get to New Rule, you're going to be in the Stay Organized part. Move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder. So in this folder, they all say Sassy Mastermind because they're coming from my group called Sassy Mastermind. So what I'm going to do is go down here where it says Specific Words because this is Step 2. Apply this rule after the message arrives with a specific word. I've already set this up. So what I would have typed there was Sassy Mastermind. And then I would have said OK. So let's say I've done that and then I'm going to go to the next step is move it to the folder. So I want to click right here, specified folder. And what I want to do up, up opens all of my different folders and I want to put this, I'm scrolling down and I want to put this into sassy emails. So I would have clicked on here. Now I've created this folder prior, sassy emails FB for Facebook. And then I say, okay, but I've already done it. So I'm not going to do that. So once you do that, it's a great way to organize your email inbox so that email doesn't take over your life. You only want to look at email about three times a day maximum. Don't have it open all day long. And have these important emails go to a file folder where you are going to check them, but you don't want it to interrupt you right at that time during the day. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, send me an email at julie at musealmarketing.com.